Hello, everybody. I'm Keith Deserick. I'm with The Cure Starts Now. I want to talk to you a little bit about the relevance of May uh, as to brain cancer awareness. Um, May is the designated month for brain cancer awareness. We also will go out and we'll say go gray in May, effectively tying the gray ribbon and also the idea of the brain and gray mat matter is relevant to it. But it's a little bit more than even just that because it, as you know, as you remember from uh, Lauren Hill when she started talking about this and, and even us all the way from the very beginning of this, we've always talked about Cure Starts Now being more than just awareness. It's great to go out there and to be able to talk about cancer research, to talk about trying to get people aware, but a lot of people already are aware. We know of cancer. We know that it's there. What we have to do is we have to prioritize it. We have to do something about it. And so Cure Starts Now was created with the idea that we had to do more than just tell people about brain cancer. We actually had to fund innovative strategies. We had to come up with um, new ways of identifying it. And we had to uh, be able to really mobilize that. And so as you look in our entire strategy, it's, it's not just about awareness. Certainly, we want you to be more aware of it. But at the end of the day, awareness is never going to cure this. We have to cure this by virtue of getting people to actually help to uh, create the cause and also donate financially uh, to try to make it this way. That's especially true this May. Because this May, obviously, with the pandemic, with everything else that's going on with this, it's been a tough, it's been a tough year. Um, when we look at how we've been sitting here for, for this year, uh, we're going to be down uh, about two trials. And I know that doesn't seem like much, but especially when you look back on a lot of the things we've been talking about over the last week, one of the trials uh, that we actually almost didn't fund in previous years became groundbreaking and, and really changed the, the uh, entire playing field of brain cancer, DIPG, and, and frankly, a lot of other cancers. And so just missing one of those is really critical to this. Uh, you can also take the number side of this. If we're not able to fund uh, two more trials, that's going to impact roughly about 50, maybe 60 different children, 50, 60 different families. They're not going to have that hope. They're not going to have something that they can participate in as they go through it. And from a father, from having seen that uh, with my own daughter, we really didn't have a whole lot of trials back then. I just don't want to do that. Um, we want to try to do more for them. And so we need your help desperately. Um, you know, two trials is, is a lot. Each one of those trials typically costs anywhere from about a hundred to maybe $200,000. Uh, that's a lot of money, uh, but it does make an impact. And so, you know, we, we do need your help, especially this May. So this May, you know, obviously turn your emblem, you know, gray. You'll see that we have some of those resources available for you on Facebook. Uh, talk a little bit about cancer research and get other people engaged to it. Recruit people, which may even be more important than awareness. Um, but go for action. Uh, get people to actually uh, help out the cause, participate in the cause, um, and, and help us to try to get back a little bit about what we've lost because we owe that responsibility to these children. You know, we, we talk about fighting a pandemic. We talk about an incidence rate or, or even a mortality rate that's in between 1% to maybe 3%. But you got to remember, these kids are fighting a battle that is a 90% to even a almost 100% chance. Um, of a mortality rate, and so that we do have to, we have to help them, and it's more important than ever. So participate, uh, start yourself a birthday fundraiser, participate in a virtual event that we have online. A lot of our chapters are doing these; these are great uh, because uh, you can do it from the convenience of your own home. You don't even have to be in a crowd with it. Uh, if you're, you know, we've even tried to provide something that gives you something having to relate to the pandemic. You need to have a mask, obviously. So we have now masks uh, that you can get. Uh, those also help to benefit the cause. That's the idea above it. Or just donate straight away. We can use all the help you can possibly get, uh, give to try to make this and, and try to build a little bit of a future for these kids. So we appreciate you paying attention. We appreciate your help with this. Uh, please help us by sharing this. Um, and if you have any questions, if you have any comments, anything you want us to talk about, feel free to let us know. Thank you.